Greetings from International Career Counseling Center. This is me, Sakar Bhatta, a counselor for International Career Counseling Center. I will be guiding you in this video on how you can prepare your SOPs or statement of purpose, what to include in your SOP, what not to include, and any questions or concerns that you may have while preparing the document. So let's start. So what is the motive behind writing your statement of purpose? Basically, you're writing a letter to the immigration officer who is reviewing your application. So you only want to include those information that is relevant to you and your motive to go to Canada. You will be explaining what type of course you have chosen, what are the reasons behind choosing that particular course, what are your future plans after completing the course, and how will this course particularly help you achieve those goals in the future. These are the key things that your document should clearly answer. First of all, start with your introduction. Tell about yourself and what your interests are, but make sure you are focusing on the field of study you have chosen while mentioning your interests. So if you are a bachelor graduate and you have some work experience, you can mention what you have been doing professionally for your living. If you are a plus two graduate and you don't have a lot of experience, you can just mention what makes you interested in the particular field you are going to study in Canada. Also, mention the name of the course you are going to study. So the next part is going to be about your work experience. If you have done any job in the past, you would like to mention that in your statement of purpose. Mention what kind of roles and responsibilities you handle during your job. What are the key skills and knowledge that you gain during your tenure? Also, please keep in mind that you do not want to write your roles and responsibilities in such a way that the visa officer is going to assume that you were working in a senior position because this is not going to be a good thing for someone that is applying for a postgraduate course or a diploma course. But if you are, however, applying for a master's degree, these things won't really matter to you. Now let's get to one of the most crucial parts of the SOP. What actually motivated you to choose this particular course to study in Canada? Now, if you are a high school graduate, you just want to write what you know about this field, what got you interested in this field, and why you think it is a good idea to start your career in this particular field. If you are someone with a bachelor's degree or someone who has some work experience, you might just want to explain what made you think that you need this particular course to further progress towards your career. If you are a bachelor graduate or you have some work experience, write what actually made you feel that you need this particular course to further progress in your career. The next part is going to be why not Nepal. Explain why you did not choose to continue your study in Nepal. Most of the students write that they did not find their particular course here or that the course they found was not practical enough as compared to the courses available abroad. Also note that you should not write many negative things about your nation in this section. After that, you're going to give some reasons as to why you chose Canada over other popular study destinations. Like Canada has comparatively affordable tuition fees, better living expenses, no language barrier like with the European countries. You can also mention that Canada has low crime rate which makes it safer for international students. Now, another most important part of the SOP is your future plans. What do you plan on doing after you complete the course in Canada? We recommend you to write that you will immediately return to Nepal upon the completion of your course and focus on your future plans. Write the future plan in such a way that the reader thinks that you will immediately return back to Nepal and focus on your career goals. Do not mention anything about the postgraduate work permit or applying for permanent residency in Canada. Also mention how you plan on utilizing the knowledge and skill you gain from the course to uplift your career back in Nepal. We also recommend you to add a few lines that are related to your family attachment. You can mention that you would like to get back to your family as soon as possible because your parents are getting older and you would like to take care of them as they get old. This will act as one more reason for you to get back to your country as soon as possible. Now comes the financial part. 
write about how you'll be managing your expenses in Canada, like who is responsible for your tuition fees and your living expenses. Usually it's the family that's responsible for all that. Mention that your family has really stable sources of income and adequate savings in their bank. Now it's finally time to conclude your SOP. Just summarize everything you've written above and declare that you are aware of all the rules and regulations you should follow as an international student in Canada. Also declare that you plan on returning back to your country before the expiration of your authorized stay period in Canada. Last note for you, if there are any negative things in your background that you would like to state in the SOP, mention it in the most normal way possible. Like you may have a previous refusal of any country or anything like that. Just mention it in one sentence and do not provide any further explanations on that.